So by now you would have made it past the dastardly login screen and you are greeted with Toolbox. However, chances are this is the first time you would have opened this application. So you're probably wondering, what's this? What's that? What's that doohickey? Is that meant to be there? And this is where I come in. I'm Ludwig from Archivalm and welcome to Kickstart. And in this video, I will be giving you a lay of the land and explain the Toolbox application as you open it for the first time. So strap yourselves in and let's get kickstarted. So here we are in the Toolbox application. And for all you AutoCAD users out there, first of all, hey, how's it going? Second of all, a lot of what you're seeing here may be fairly familiar to you. And this is because Toolbox is an AutoCAD OEM. So a lot of the functions and commands you would have used in AutoCAD can also be used here in Toolbox as well. In fact, if you look at the very, very top of your screen, these guys are what we call ribbons. And about a majority of our AutoCAD commands are actually stored here, ranging from our 2D and 3D drafting to our annotation where we can access all the tools that we can use to make our shop drawings really pop out and stand out. If we look further into the middle of our area, this is what we call our model space or drawing area if that helps. This is where you can unleash your inner Da Vinci or Michelangelo or Bob Ross if you want. I don't really know too many painters, so that's as far as my knowledge goes on them. Now, a lot of what we're gonna be doing is gonna be shown visually on this side of the screen, ranging from our 2D and our 3D visuals. Further down below is our command line, and this guy's gonna be your best friend because everything that you do in Toolbox goes through this command line. And the command line pretty much tells you what you are doing and what you need to do to further progress in the function that you're performing. For example, if I switch back to my home tab and I use this line command over here, you can see that my command line is telling me that I'm using a line command. And in order to progress, I need to specify a point in my screen. If I hit escape on my keyboard, it's telling me that I've now canceled that command so I can now progress in doing whatever it is I need to do. Further below is some more AutoCAD options ranging from being able to turn on or off our orthogonal uh, function. It pretty much allows us to have our cursor stay in a 90 degree direction or we can have it turned off so our cursor can go in any 360 direction. We can even turn on or off our snap points, which allows us to easily snap onto points of our objects. Now, if we look onto the left-hand side, this is our toolbox toolbar. And a lot of what we're gonna be doing in Markovolm is done through here. We're gonna start on the left-hand side. I'm gonna start with this blue pen up the top. And this blue pen, believe it or not, is actually more AutoCAD commands. In fact, these commands that you see here, a majority of them are under our draw tab up the top here. They're placed there just because it's a bit easier for some people to see these options over here, as opposed to the daunting ribbons up the top. You may use it, you may not. The option is entirely yours. Further below is a blue fingerprint. And again, we've got some more AutoCAD functions. However, these fall under the modify side of things, allowing us to move, rotate, erase, scale up, offset, all those fun AutoCAD commands on our 2D objects. On to the blue cube. And this guy here contains a lot of our options to create and control our viewports, which is gonna be useful when we get into shop drawings, which essentially allows us to create a window into our model space to present onto our shop drawings what we have drawn. We also have some functions that allow us to zoom in and out or to change our views as well. On to the blue camera. And this guy here is where a majority of our rendering options are. The tea kettle right over here allows us to actually render the image that we have on our screen. This gray bowl with some little text box over it, don't know how else I can describe him, is where we can change our materials in what we see on our screen. Now, even further, further below is a blue folder. Again, you've got odds and sods of AutoCAD commands from our measuring to our plotting. We also have some isolating and hiding tools over here as well. And finally, on the blue side of things, blue dabba d double die, is our work order commands. Now, these aren't AutoCAD, these are strictly microbiome. And a work order, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but a bit of a synopsis, it's essentially where we can go to create our nesting files, our G-code files, 
create our reports and our labels, essentially process what we have drawn into something for manufacturing. Now onto the right hand side of our Microbiome toolbar, and this is actually a shortcut list of some Microbiome commands that I personally use fairly often. Now you yourself can control what you have on this toolbar over here by clicking on this NC Wincy little cog over here. Now, when you click on this handsome little fellow over here, you are greeted with the customization interface. And this guy essentially lets you pick and choose what you'd like in your shortcut bar. In fact, if you'd like to copy what I have in mind, you can pause this video and jot down what I have over here. To add one in yourself, you need to click on this add button over here. You can see it adds a new item, and then you need to go to this command drop down list and select the command that you would like to use. For example, if I would like to use browse to Dharma, I simply select that. Make sure you hit apply first, otherwise it doesn't save. Remember that, apply, apply, hit the apply, hit the okay, and lo and behold, there is our browse to data folder. Now, if you don't like him, it's taking up too much space, or you're doing this as an example for a web series, if we go back to our NC Wincy blue cog, click back on that command that we added and simply hit remove. Hit okay and also low and also behold, he is now gone. Up the very, very top of our toolbar is a few options that we have here. One of them being company setup. And if you remember the previous video on our login screen, I would have mentioned that there was a username and a password. And it's through here that you can create employees and employee accounts that has passwords and usernames assigned to those employees as well as permissions to them as well. Here is Toolbox Setup where a majority of our options as well as our importing, exporting functions and customization tools are going to be set. And here we have the other tab and there's not overly too much that we need to do here. The main thing that we have is the select entire product button. This guy lets us select either the entire product when we click on it or just individual components of that product. We'll make a lot of use to him once we get into dropping in our market on products. And finally, our help. Now the help is gonna be very useful because he allows you to find where your data is saved, whether it's your DWGs or whether you wanna check what kind of errors you've seen popping up. Even it lets you access the support portal, which takes you to a interface that allows you to submit a ticket to our support desk. And of course we have a help on Microbiome and an about Microbiome. We can learn more details about what modules you have on your Microbiome, on what you don't have and what version you are using. And finally, we're gonna look down below to our Microbiome tabs. Now, a lot of these are grayed out because we don't have a project or a room open yet. Once we have a job ready and raring to go, these guys open themselves up and allow us to access the Microbiome functions in terms of dropping in our Microbiome cabinets, modifying them, and of course, even using other tools in Microbiome such as Extruded Product Builder and Solid Model Analyzer. And that is that. Hopefully you got a bit of a better understanding of the Microbiome interface. You finally figure out what that button does and what this doohickey did and all the other fun stuff in between. As usual, I'm still working on an outro, so I'll leave it at, I'm Ludwig from Microbiome, and take care everyone.